welcome to another moment of truth. I think we just need to get into action now and continue from where we stopped last time. We are beginning to see the confusion. And we read, we are about to read Romans chapter 1, verses 26 and 28. The Bible says, For this cause God gave them up unto vile affection. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the women, born in their own lust, on one towards another, men with men, walking that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error, which was meet. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God have God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do things which are not convenient. Now, brethren, we have studied to the point that. Men receive knowledge and they begin to corrupt themselves because of the knowledge they have outside of God. And with increasing knowledge, men have done so many things to push themselves independent of God. And every time we operate independent of God, sir, that means that you are operating the method of Babylon. Now, like the Tower of Babel, something happened. Men now no longer reverence God. Because by virtue of, we can, we can travel anywhere we like. We can even turn on the light in the night. We don't need anybody to, for safety. Anything is happening. Anything is possible. We don't need God. We don't, some, people, some Christians are now beginning to get to a point, must we pray for this one? Excuse me, sir. Pray for everything. Men ought always to pray. Don't let them get you into the mood of Babylon. Because the way, moment you start saying you don't need prayer, you are getting yourself into a mode of Babylon with knowledge, knowledge without God is Babylonian system. Knowledge without God and with the devil, oh, oh, is the Babylonian system by excellence. And you need to be very careful. So also, that was what happened in the days of, um, of Daniel and Nebuchadnezzar. But do you know that today we can predict tornado, that tornado is going to land tomorrow. We can predict temperature. We can predict everything. Knowledge is too powerful. And there, in the land of Babylon, they were able to do the same thing. But God shocked them. God now gave a revelation that they could not decipher. The Bible says all the magicians of Egypt, they could not get to, uh, to, to unravel the dream to Nebuchadnezzar. And they were now looking for who? But Daniel showed up. May you show up in Babylon to destabilize the powers that be. Daniel showed up and they said, okay, what are you telling us? They said, look. There is a God in heaven that reveals secrets. He knows everything that is going on. And there is none of you that can operate without you. No wonder the scripture said to us, God will not do a thing without revealing it to his prophets. There are prophets of walking upon the face of the earth that knows what God wants to do tomorrow. And you'll be shocked. It's because God revealed it to them. So Daniel now showed them in the land of, da in the land of Babylon that there is a God in heaven that is beyond your knowledge, acclaim knowledge. And when he stupefied them, he now said to Nebuchadnezzar, he said, King, don't worry. That's your dream. These magicians cannot, they cannot resolve it. There is a God that reveals that secret. It is that God that has brought it to you. And that is why you couldn't understand. That's why they could not interpret it to you. It is my prayer that somebody will learn lesson here. God has therefore scattered men in their wisdom in our days. In their wisdom, he has scattered them. Like in the days of old, when he scattered them in the land of China, physical land, he's also scattering men now in the China of knowledge. Plain of China of knowledge. Where men have so much confidence. Our God is already scattering them. That's why we read to you that verse number 26. The Bible says in that verse 20, no, verse 28 of chapter 1 of Romans where it says, and even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are no longer convenient. No longer convenient. What are the things that are no longer convenient? Do you now see, because of knowledge, perversion has set in. The men are now doing uncomfortable, inconvenient things. This is because knowledge is, has so much increased and people now think they can do anything. You now have bestiality. 
in place. You now have the pedophiles in place where man, will, uh, adult man, will be sleeping with younger ones, girls, uh, younger boys and girls all over the place. You will now see men sleeping with their animals. Babylon par excellence. When you will not retain God in your knowledge, you will not retain God with your knowledge. The Bible says he gave them over to a reprobate man. He scattered them. Confusion now came in. Now you thought they had only LGBTQ. They now have LGBTQ plus so many coming to almost 27 gender. How is that possible? And now, you now see a, a gay, gay relationship, lesbian relationship. And you see a lot of terrible things that is going on in our time. And you begin to wonder what is happening. Welcome to Babylon. Where the plane of knowledge has now started, as man has built on a plane of knowledge to the point of their own detriment. And God also has given them over to confusion. And they don't even know what to do again. Come to Western world. We are parents are now bewildered. They don't even know what to do. When they go to school, they teach their children, you don't have to be a girl. If they are a girl, you say you don't have to be a girl. You can be a boy. The boy, the girl will come home and say, Mommy, my teacher says I can be a girl. I can be a boy. And now I want to be a boy. And then the boy will come home and say, my, mom, my teacher says I can become a girl. And that is total confusion. Do you know? That is all right. If it's only knowledge they are giving them. They are now helping them to carry out operations on themselves. A girl of less than 13 years or maybe like 16 years or even less than 20 years against father and mother's counsel because of what they were taught in the school. They will do double mascotomy. Before you know it, they remove their private part. They remove their, their breast. And now the irreversible damage is coming to men in our time. And in the world where you are, even in the developing nation of the world too, confusion is all over the place. We are doing democracy as if it is democracy. Nobody can control one another anymore. Everything is total confusion. Welcome to Babylon. When a man refuses to have knowledge with God, but you will now take knowledge with the devil. The devil will put them in a terrible situation. And that is what we have now. It is my prayer that somebody under the sound of the voice of the Holy Spirit will begin to reassess your situation. And you begin to reassess your situation and condition. Where you are now. What knowledge God has given to you. And you say you don't need God. Hey, very soon reprobate mind will set in. And very soon you begin to do the unthinkable. Unthinkable. You begin to ask yourself, why did I do it? What happened to me? Welcome to Babylon. University of Babylon, they are teaching all of us. But go this week. We will continue next week how you need to re re rethink and come back to God as a saint in Babylon. The Lord bless you. Have a wonderful week in Jesus' name. Amen.